Hello everyone, it is Lisa Lyle here of Wisdom of the Heart Intuitive Healing on Facebook and my website is www.lisalyle.com and I am here with your weekly intuitive forecast for the week beginning Sunday, July the 13th through to Saturday, July the 19th. So as I record, it's Friday, the 11th of July, and we are on the eve of the great big super full moon in Capricorn, which is taking place tomorrow, July the 12th. So the weekly forecast is for the week following this full moon. And just as we're building up to the full moon, we're really, really being encouraged, strongly encouraged, strongly guided at this time to change something, give up something, let go of, release the hold that other people's opinions, release the hold that our addictions, release the hold that our pain has on us that prevents us from moving forward from a heart-centered place. So... <clears throat> That being said, if you are interested in being a part of the Full Moon Healing Circle, which is taking place on Saturday, July the 12th, there's a link down below that you can just click on and register for that event, and it is open to everyone, and it's capped at 21, so there still are some spots in there if you would like to be a part of that. Other than that, I'm going to sort of chillax a little bit over the summer and spend time with my son and get back to some grassroots teaching and healing and sharing here in my community with um, the youth on the street. I'm inspired by them and I hope that I inspire them to connect with their own brilliance and light that I see that they're not quite yet sure of. <laughs> I remember being, you know, 12 to 15, awkward. Um, anyways, so besides my moon healing circles that and, and my Facebook page, I'm going to keep po posts scheduled on there to keep everyone engaged and I will be doing the weekly intuitive messages. But beyond that, I'm on a bit of a hiatus and really nurturing my own soul and welcoming in more and more happiness and joy into my life. And so I'm grateful to have this opportunity to share and to serve you in any way that you um, are guided to welcome me into your life. So that being said, without further ado, I want to get to these messages for this coming week. So I was guided to uh, three decks and we've got five cards because out of two uh, of the decks, two cards came forth. So the first deck I was guided to was the Indigo Angel deck by Doreen Virtue, Doreen and Charles Virtue. And the card that came up is self-care. How awesome is that? So right now, I'm still working with these full moon energies as I record this. And this full moon is really supporting us and encouraging us to give up addictions. And, you know, I don't care what your addiction is. It could be food, drugs, sex, alcohol, nicotine, negative thoughts, bad relationships, <laughs> poor choices. There's all kinds of addictions. We don't, I don't need to tell you what yours are because you already know you're dealing with them. So this self-care is, it speaks to me of, for those of us who are in tune with and working with the energies and really working to heal on a deeper level, we're going to be working with the support of full moon. And as we move into next week, we're really asked to take a step back. <laughs> and and I, I love that I just said that myself, because this is what I keep hearing heal or heal thyself and care for thyself love yourself first accept yourself nurture yourself first and from that really strong and rooted foundation based on self-love and acceptance you can then go forward and serve and this speaks to all of us whether we're in whatever capacity we're serving because we're all serving in some capacity right so we need to take care of ourselves. if I don't take care of me I'm not going to be able to serve <laughs> and, and if I come here and I film my videos and I look like completely bagged out or whatever you know who's going to buy into anything that I'm saying <laughs> because we have to live that 
which we teach, right? And we can't teach anything. Uh, it was just 444 as I was saying that. We can't teach anything that we haven't yet ourselves mastered or that we haven't yet walked through. So self-care is top priority this week for every single person watching this video. Take care of you first because without you, there's nothing else. You are number one in your life and put yourself right at the top of your priority list because you are worthy and deserving of your time and attention. And it's not wasted time. Don't buy into the fallacy that self-care is selfish. You're being selfish. You're not, it's not true. Self-care is the most loving and compassionate thing that we can do for ourselves. So whatever self-care means for you, take time this week to put yourself at the top of the list. I'm also feeling from this that for many there's a need for a purification, a cleanse, a detox. And for those of us who are healing addictions, we are going to need to support ourselves in other ways as we release and let go of those addictive tendencies. So we may need to make better choices when it comes to eating we, uh, water, 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 water. Lots of us are not drinking enough water and it's almost like a subconscious way that the ego tricks us into resisting the change that is right there on our doorstep. So making sure you're drinking enough water, cleansing and purifying your diet so that that channel through which the entire universe speaks to you is nice and clear so that when you're receiving, you're receiving through the ears and the eyes of your beautiful healing heart. You're number one in your life. Of course, Archangel Michael, my mighty guide, <laughs> who I learned a little bit more about today, um, he wanted to bring two cards forth for us, and his energy has been incredibly strong around these days. I'm sure those of you who are familiar with his energy have been feeling his presence strong. And the two cards that came, <laughs> of course, two cards that came through, okay, so God is in charge. And this is your life's purpose. Okay, so as we heal our addictions, as we heal our lives, as we take care of ourselves, we come to more fully understand our life purpose. Now, all of you already know on some level what your life purpose is. I can tell you what it's not. It's not to go into a job in a cubicle every day where you're miserable and you're just going because it's a paycheck. That's not it. We were all, if God's in charge, if God's in charge, what I know is my creator, and I don't care what you call that energy, God, I, I call it God. And to me, that's the divine masculine energy. So father energy. Okay, so this creator energy, creator source, God, Allah, Buddha, whatever, I don't know. It's all the same source because we're just calling them all different names. It's almost like names and and um, uh, names were lost in transla translation. Okay, and we don't have to bicker and argue over who's what. God resides within all of us. Creator source energy resides within all of us. And all of us, I do know this to be true, all of us were born of the same source. We were born with many, many of the same gifts, and yet each of us, each and every one of us was given another beautiful gift, and it's called free will. And we have often used our free will <laughs> in not so positive ways that don't really support us, don't really support the cause, if you will, our life's mission that we came here um, for. So it's up to each of us to heal the aspects of our life that need to be healed in order to move closer into alignment with our divine life purpose. And our life purpose involves living from and expressing and creating from our heart center. Okay, so we are to, our purpose involves creating more joy, welcoming more joy, experiencing more happiness. Abundance, abundance on so many levels, not just financial abundance, because when we're living in alignment with our truth and fulfilling our divine life purpose, all of our human needs will be met without a doubt and then some, because the more that we're living in alignment with our divine life purpose, the more the universe will flow towards us so that we can continue to fulfill and serve our divine life mission. And many of us are here with 
great missions in support of the greater good of all, not just for our lifetime, but lifetimes that follow after we've left this physical body. So we have to remember that everything is unfolding in divine and perfect time. It's always in God's time, is what I say, not Lisa's time. Now, Lisa is impatient. Lisa has expectations of when things are supposed to happen. And Lisa's really learned in the last little while to relax and let go of those expectations because expectations are simply premeditated resentments. And the universe knows what we need at the exact moment we need it, even if we don't understand and we think we need it now. Whatever you need now is right there with you. <laughs> And when you need more, they will send you more when the time is right. And it's really important that we heal ourselves, we take care of ourselves, we heal our addictions so that we can get to the heart of the matter and fulfill that divine life mission that we came with. And most of us have an inkling of what it is. Um, and I'll give you a hint, those dreams that you keep having over and over and over, those dreams are indeed possible. And you have everything within you, all the tools. You came here fully equipped to manifest your dreams. And so it's time we took responsibility and did our part to heal our wounded hearts so that we can go on and fulfill and serve and experience an abundance of joy and peace and contentment in our life. So the message is on the card of the God in charge. It says, Dear God, please help me let go of this situation. So if there's a situation in your life that's troubling you, fit it in there. You know, and if you're watching this before the full moon, write it down, burn it with the full moon and trust that the universe has taken that from you. We can't ask for help. We can't give things away and then claw it back like, oh, maybe they didn't hear. Our guides and our angels have heard. They've heard our thoughts. They know them before we're even thinking them, and that's the truth. So once we release, we have to be willing to let it go. Don't pull it back, because if you pull it back, you're, you're piling it back on. Trust. And so it's all about trust. We have to believe. Um, Dear God, please help me let go of this situation, giving it in faith and trust to your divine wisdom and infinite love in order to resolve and heal everything and everyone involved. So this is our, this is what we have to understand. Our part is most important, right? Because if I'm doing my part, regardless of whether those around me are doing their part, as I heal and change, I'm having a positive impact on the collective. And that begins within my home and then ripples out, um, you know, reaches far and wide. And the same is true for you. That personal work you do, it's so important. Don't worry about what someone else is doing or not doing. Clean your side of the street. Let them worry about theirs. And as yours is cleaned, you'll just shine brighter and brighter and brighter. And like all good beacons and lighthouses, all you need to do is just stand there and shine. And those that you are to serve will be drawn to you. And so this is your life purpose. And, and the angel is holding the world at, at its heart. And uh, it says, Archangel Michael, you know the details of my divine life purpose. And I ask you to help me be aligned with my goals. Please clearly guide me, guide my actions so that I am taking the best steps to fully manifest my wonderful and meaningful career. So that's what I was saying. You don't go to a job that you hate because it's a paycheck. Really, <laughs> you're not going to be very happy and your body's going to hurt and all kinds. There's always going to be a feeling of wanting because you're not really being true to you. You want to be an artist? Get out there and paint. Pick up a paintbrush, finger paint, do your thing. You want to write? Pick up a pen, grab some paper, write. You want to dance? Get up off your butt and start dancing. You want to sing? Go ahead and let your voice be heard, even if it just is in the shower. Follow your heart because your heart knows what's best for you, right? Right. <laughs> okay, and finally, I was guided to the healing messages from the fairies or healing with the fairies deck by Doreen Virtue. And again, two cards came out. And before I was guided to that deck, I was told it would be a playful, fun, elemental energy to sort of take us through the coming weeks. So what we got... Oh, awesome. What we've got is the magic of nature. Purple, purple, purple. 
third eye amethyst helps us to heal and release addictions um, I'm also seeing the blue there um, the fairies are all in blue so it's like Archangel truth there's truth in our divine gifts it's true we all are gifted <laughs> it's not a lie there's not some of us more gifted than others the only difference is some of us work harder to continue to uncover and develop our gifts that's the only difference it's just the free will choice um, so this card is speaking to me about being outside in nature and I just feel like doing cartwheels you know doing cartwheels um, dip your toes in the water allow yourself to get outside and connect with the elemental energies have fun the carefree easy breezy days of summer and I know on the other side of the world it's the cool breezier days of winter but here it's really like get outside and be playful kick your shoes off have some fun connect with nature we're so disconnected to nature and we're so connected to technology disconnect from this and get outside and have some fun and as you do connect with the earth because it's through the earth that we really and truly heal and um, there's so much from uh, for us to learn from all the elementals from the water to the air to the plant energy to the the bird energy the winged wise ones there's so much and if you think something is a sign or a symbol or a message for you don't ask someone else to decipher it believe it because it is a message for you and sometimes we don't need to know all the nitty-gritty details we just need to know that we are supported all the time our guides are with us all the time they're not just the voices in my head okay maybe some of them are <laughs> and then the second card out is kindness so the world is healed through random acts of kindness we are healed through those conscious acts of kindness that we show towards ourselves. And as we learn to be more kind and compassionate with ourselves, we are able to be kind and compassionate with others and to see things from that higher perspective. I'm connecting strongly with the bunny energy here. So bunnies, new beginnings, and it feels like this after this full moon it's a fresh start a new beginning and truly every month there's a brand new beginning in every month and this is like a completion the full moon is the completion right and so then it'll go into a period of integration and it feels like what that's what this coming week is integrate anchor in the love allow yourself to welcome that healing that's been offered to you that's taken place and appreciate yourself and how far you've come and acknowledge all the changes the courageous changes you've made and don't get too hung up on how far you have to go that'll keep us feeling sick <laughs> and kind of stuck in the moment because there's always further to go let's just learn to appreciate and let's work this week to stay centered and grounded in the present moment because right here and now is the only time and space in which life is lived and which joy is experienced if we're feeling a lot of pain if we're in pain we're still living in the past if we're anxious and uptight and really fearful about what's to come it's because we're out there in the future when we are breathing in deeply to this present moment and connecting with this moment we are appreciating the gift that this moment is and there is something beautiful in each and every day for all of us and all we need to do is open the eyes open our eyes and see life through the eyes of our heart and see others through the eyes of our heart and see our beautiful selves through the eyes of our heart as well and this is how we begin to heal and as we heal we get in touch with the truth of our divine life purpose yay Okay, so on that note, folks, I hope you have a fantastic week. Please do come and visit me on Facebook. I love uh, feedback, and I love to get to know you. Um, so please do visit my Facebook page. Check out my website if you're interested in knowing a little bit more about me and the type of work and services I offer. Um, have a visit to my website, and if you want to be a part of the Full Moon Healing Circle or any of the coming new or Full Moon Healing Circles um, for the remainder of the year please do check out the link below that'll be for 
this one that's just passed or coming. It's coming if it's uh, before Saturday. It's passed if it's after Saturday that you're watching this. The link is below either way. So I wish you a beautiful week. I'm sending you so much love, light, respect, and gratitude from the depths of my beautiful healing heart straight into yours. My wish for you this week is the strength and courage that it takes to put yourself at the top of your priority list. Make yourself number one because you, above all others, deserve love, acceptance, and the peace that that love and acceptance brings into your heart and from this space you are, are being guided to flow so till until we see each other again sending lots of love light respect and gratitude and a great big peace out to all my peeps thank you so much for your love and support if these messages resonate with you please hit the thumbs up button down below and feel free to like comment and share like i said i appreciate your support and i love being interactive with you so until we see each other again namaste